is there 300 blackout MCX worth to play in Escape from Tarkov and what is the best build for the 6 hour MCX in EFT? That's the topic of today's video. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys out there, glad to see you again and today's video is all about the MCX in Escape from Tarkov. So you are here because you want to improve your gaming experience. That's why we are talking about the performance of the MCX, is it worth to play and how does the build looks like. So as always guys, grab a beer or two or anything else to drink and let's start with the build. So as you can see, the best build for the MCX is quite decent. We have 58 ergonomics and 58 vertical recoil. You can have a little bit less recoil, I will show you that later on, but it's not worth to trade that much ergonomics for it. So if you are not familiar with 300 blackout IRL, it's quite decent that we can shoot 300 blackout in Escape from Tarkov from the normal 556 magazines and you can do that also in real life. So let's talk about the details real quick. As you can see, you can't modify that much. We can change the stock if we want. With the telescopic stock, you will gain a little bit more ergo, but you will lose recoil and you already have enough recoil in my opinion. That's why you don't want to lose that much for a little bit more ergonomics. And on top of that, we only have small options for our muzzle device and for the grip. I am using the Hera Arm CQR because it is a decent grip, perfect sweet spot for ergo buff and vertical recoil reduction or recoil reduction in general. With the RK2 grip, you will lose one vertical recoil, but a lot of ergonomics. And with the shift grip, you will have 60 vertical recoil, but also a little bit more ergo. So in my opinion, the CQR is perfect. Let's talk about the most important thing for the MCX. It's the 6 hour SRD QD suppressor in combination with the two port muzzle brake and you need the T-lock. This is very important because you don't have that much options for your muzzle device. That's very unfortunate in my opinion, but right now you have to play it that way. And on top of that, as I showed you a couple of seconds ago, we don't have that much options for our stock. And that's why this build right here is the best what you can do out of the MCX. For the grip you can change the Grail S for the PSG1, really depends what is cheaper for you. This build will cost you around 130k, depends on the prices. Some parts are cheaper from Le Fleet, for example the SRD QD suppressor. It's even cheaper if you do the barter with the Raven, that's why I put the Raven into this video. And like the barrel is also a little bit cheaper if you buy it from players on the flea market. On top of that, of course, you need some magazines and ammunition. So let's jump to the ammunition real quick. You only have one option, in my opinion, and it's the 300 blackout AP round. The stats for the 300 blackout ammunition are quite good. On paper, they are better compared to 855A1. You have more penetration and you have more damage. As I said, on paper, it's quite nice, it's quite decent, and it's the same price as 855A1. Let's talk about the magazines real quick. Same thing like normal AR-15s or 416s in Escape from Tarkov. Let's start with the PMAC Gen 3. It's the worst from the best. You have minus three ergonomics, but plus 35% check speed modifier. On top of that, we have the HK Steel magazine, which will give you minus three ergonomics, but you will also gain minus 10% load and unload speed modifier, which is great in my opinion. Only the Troy Battle Mag is a little better because you will only lose minus two ergonomics and you will also gain minus 10% load and unload modifier. For the 60 round mags, I prefer the Stanek 60 round steel magazine because you will lose 18 ergonomics, but your load and unload modifier is is not as big as the PMAX 60 round. 60% load and unload modifier is quite high for only minus 16 ergonomics, which is only two ergonomics better compared to the Stanak. So for me, it's very clear the 60 round Stanak is a little better. So, and again, I mentioned the Raven Bada for the SRD QD. And as you can see, Ravens are not that expensive, 28K perfect barter to get the SRD QD. For your sights, you can play what you like. I prefer the EOTech PK06 or the high mount RMR. Let's check the recoil as always first round, no recoil control. Second round with some proper recoil control. So as you can see with the best build we have some significant recoil 
but we also have a high fire rate. We have the same fire rate like the M4A1 is in Escape from Tarkov. And that brings me to my summary. Is it worth to play the 300 Blackout? In my opinion, it is only worth to play it if you want to play something else. If you want to get rid of the basic AR-15 or 416 best meta build and you want to play something else, which is quite similar, you can check out the 300 Blackout. But in my opinion, on paper, this gun is pretty good. If you're actually playing the 300 Blackout, it's not so good at all. I do not know why. The AP rounds are on paper very decent and I like them a lot. But if you are playing the 300 Blackout with AP rounds, it feels like the time to kill is quite high. It feels like you have to hit a lot with the 300 Blackout AP to bring some opponents down. And it's a little bit disappointing because in real life I like the 300 Blackout caliber a lot. But in Escape from Tarkov right now, it's actually not worth playing it because a M4A1 or 416 is better in every way. Because even if you play with 855A1, it feels better than with some 300 Blackout AP. But on paper, the 300 Blackout AP, as I said, is better. So right now, in Escape from Tarkov, we need more options, some modifications and attachments for the MCX to make it viable. So from a basic and very objective meta point of view, it is not worth to play the 300 Blackout. It feels like you have way too much recoil for its caliber. And the reason is, as I said, we need more attachments or modifications or we have to buff this caliber, but it's quite hard in my opinion without some more or some better attachments for the MCX in Escape from Tarkov. So what is your opinion about the MCX in Escape from Tarkov right now? Leave a comment in the comment section below. And as always, guys, your support is so incredible. Don't forget to like this video to show the world we Germans cannot win at least something. And if it's your like, I would really appreciate it. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.